Yes, yes, they dropped the charges. Next Wednesday. Put on your best dress, because tonight, we party. It's a night of celebrations. Time for our second day. So glad that y'all can make it. And confrontations. You think just because I have money, you can take advantage of me. Kelly? I was shocked when I saw you. You seem like the type of woman that wants a black man. What about me? How long were you standing there? Long enough. Tyler Perry. Okay, sisters fans, you just saw the promo for next week's episode, season six, episode 17, entitled Taste of Freedom. Danny avoids a difficult conversation with Preston. Andy, Danny, and Sabrina's triple date at Jordan's takes an unexpected turn. First things first, I think it's just safe to say off the rip, we know the unexpected turn is Gary is going to be at Jordan's for this uh, triple date cookout or barbecue. I think it's safe to assume that's going to be the cliffhanger ending of the episode. Now, the first part about Danny avoiding a difficult conversation with Preston, I think it's just easy to see. Preston is going to be rightfully upset after seeing Danny and Tony together in the parking lot overhearing part of their conversation. Which is ironic since, you know, Tony overhears or listen, listens in on a lot of Danny's conversations, hence why he knows so much about her. And Danny, instead of, you know, addressing the situation at hand, she's probably going to deflect and, you know, avoid the difficult subject of, yeah, I'm actually seeing someone else. So here we are with Danny stringing Preston along. And going out with Tony on this triple date and make it make sense to me. It's just ridiculous. Now, before moving forward, keep in mind this trailer breakdown encompasses the end credit trailer and the trailer you saw at the beginning of this video. Also, make sure you hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. Please turn on all notifications so you know when I upload to the channel and hit that subscribe button. So let's jump in. So in the parking lot, <laughs> you got Preston overhearing what was going on. What about me? Danny's like, uh, how long were you standing there? Preston's like, long enough. And um, Preston then talks to Tony directly like, how long have you known her? Tony's like, oh, well, we work together. So then moving forward, um, once they're in their job, we know Sabrina calls Danny on the phone, just excited about the fact that charges have been dropped. But it looks like Tony comes over later during the shift. Is like, so how did it all, how did it all go? What do you mean? Um, you know, with your man Preston. Well, you say his name like you know him, but then you know he says something interesting. It's like, you know, you seem like the type of woman. You know, he says like, you know, I was shocked. I guess by seeing Preston face to face and seeing he's white. He's like, you seem like the type of woman who wants a black man. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean. Honestly, doesn't surprise me. I mean, aside from Preston, we've only seen Danny with black men, you know, darker complexion like Q, hell, lighter complexions like El Fuego, kind of in the middle with the bartender and Logan. So, hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. So from there, we are over at the law firm and you know, with the celebrations in hand, Andy's like, look, put on your best dress because tonight we party. Now, this is in the conference room. Maurice is sitting there, you know, good and well. As soon as Andy says, put on your best dress, Maurice got something to say. You know, he has something to say about Sabrina's wardrobe because that's what he does. And we do see that at some point and for some reason, Bio goes over to sabrina's apartment now does she call him over there or does he just show up we don't know but they're sitting on the couch you think that just because i have a lot of money you can take advantage of me now i don't know what this means exactly now we do know the whole marriage and all that stuff and you know the family the goat that was all just an act but who's to say that maybe bio wasn't expecting sex still and then Sabrina refuses and then kind of like Logan did on Danny, he flies off the handle about it. And then he goes, 
uh, Sabrina gets up. It looks like she goes to open the door. Don't ever call me again. And then she screams, I won't. And then he says, bitch. And then Danny's right behind the door. And she's like, whoa, 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 hold up now. So I wonder exactly what the debate is about. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's because Sabrina won't give him any. That's what I'm thinking. Because he most likely just got his money back since the charges were dropped. But, you know, he put up all that money. So he's probably expecting something in his investment. So at some point, we do see the ladies um, all change clothes and get ready for the barbecue. But real quick, um, there's still no phone call between Andy and Jordan. And then she's talking with Fatima. But then the phone eventually rings and Fatima's like, hey, are you going to answer that? And Andy's like, nope. But it doesn't really matter because we do see the girls all show up. Andy's rocking blue. Sabrina was looking, looking good. Danny, is she wearing camo? I couldn't really tell because the lighting in the scenes where they're dressed up, it's hard to tell. But regardless, they're all dressed, ready to go. They go over to Jordan's. All the guys are there. You know, a good time is to be had by all until Gary shows up, of course. Um, in a blink and you miss a moment, it looks like Hayden approaches Zach and Fatima at the law firm. I think it would be pretty funny if he isn't there to start anything because it's funny. As he approaches, Zach rolls his eyes and walks away and then... Fatima's like, oh, Hayden, I'm wondering if he's just there to kind of gloat over his relationship slash marriage and about how, you know what, Fatima, yeah, I was hung up on you for a little while there, but <laughs> I've upgraded, you know, basically rubbing in the whole Tamara thing in Fatima's face, not knowing she orchestrated the entire thing. I think that is exactly what Hayden would do. And it fits so well because Zach, in this episode, he's like, Hey, don't you go feeling sorry for him because the moment, you know, you try to shut it down, he's going to do something stupid again. Then you're going to be like, you know what? This is exactly why I set his ass up. I, I think he's just there to gloat. That's what I think. So we actually kind of uh, shift gears where Zach is talking with an attorney who says that an emergency hearing can take place for custody of Michael. But I don't think anything's going to happen because this is episode 17. And then I did a video earlier today about episode 20 synopsis. So for the next three or so episodes, they're not going to know where Michael and Heather are. So uh, she's probably going to be ducking and dodging in the event that she's unable to get her own legal stuff together to counter Zach in court. So from there... We go over to Zach and Fatima's house. And I don't know the order of operations. Either Karen's going to show up first or Zach and Fatima are going to leave. I think that Zach and Fatima are going to be in the kitchen kind of talking about their options. And Fatima's like, do you want to just go get them? Zach is like, I like that. And we see the uh, Zatima dap. We haven't seen that in a while. So... From there, the interesting scene is we finally get some context because I've been talking about this one frame where Karen is walking away from Zach's house. I've talked about this for weeks, but somebody during the live stream pointed it out because I did not see it or not notice. But Jeremy, did you notice that when Zach opens the door and says, Karen, Karen is already walking away down the parking um, um <sighs> in the uh, part, basically walking out of the front yard. Notice that Zach is looking down. There's like a box of stuff there. It looks like Karen actually just showed up to drop a box of stuff off for Michael. I don't know if she knocked on the door or rang the doorbell and then, you know, left the moment she did, you know, uh, kind of like Secret Santa, if you will. So this could lead to an interesting conversation because maybe Zach says, thanks, but my son isn't here anymore. I don't know how much she'll tell Karen, but this could lead to an interesting conversation. Nonetheless, given the fact that she's doing these things, but <sighs> I hate to be an asshole, but I just don't know if it's genuine. This could be yet another quote unquote investment, if you will. I mean, I'd like to think, oh, maybe this is a sign of, you know, good co-parenting. It's like, hey, you know, I'm helping you out with your son. So 
when our child comes, hopefully we can have the same kind of cycle going on. You know, I would like to think that. But remember, this is Karen we're talking about here. You just never know. But overall, yeah, um, A Taste of Freedom, I think that title is definitely in reference to Sabrina Maurice's Newfound Freedom. Um, this might be Bio's exit, Bio's exit from the series. Possibly Preston's as well, if not within the next couple episodes. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about the trailer for next week. It does look like an intriguing episode, but I'm not getting my hopes up considering the fact that just this week was such a dud. I I don't really know what to expect. We'll just have to wait and see. So with that being said, folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.